What's going on guys, Mr. TechBot. As you can see, first video in the new set and I figured what is the best mystery box to open up on the first set? What else? The Marvel Collector Core. It's my favorite mystery box that I get and I always get something good for the most part. Um, so we're gonna open this up. Plus I've got a great item that I got from uh, my good buddy over at Wayne Co. Studios. Let's open these up and let's check it out. What's going on everybody? I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day and everyone out there is staying safe. Now, as I said, new studio, I gotta give my hats off to my wife. She did fantastic. She probably did, you know, 90% of this to be honest with you. Um, I did more of the shelf hanging, stuff like that, but she, she did a, a, she, you know, she killed it. She did fantastic on this. Um, now being this the first video, we're still gonna be playing around with different camera angles to see what works best. Not really sure just yet. So we're gonna be playing around with different things. So you're gonna probably see over the next couple of weeks, um, all different types of camera angles to see uh, what works best and go from there. Sometimes I can see what it is on there, but when I get it onto the computer, oh, it becomes so, so much different. But Marvel Collector Core. Now there's been a lot of back and forth with Marvel Collector Core um, recently, cause this was supposed to be the March box. Um, and then there was back and forth where it was going to get delayed. And then I think they, at one point Funk was saying they weren't doing the collector core with Amazon anymore. And then they said they, and then within a week, all of a sudden those post-its got taken down. So they were going to continue to do it. So, I mean, I don't really know anymore um, what the deal is. Um, I know at one point we were told that it was Deadpool and then it was supposed to be Year of the Shield with Captain America. Um, I didn't know what to expect until the box came. Um, I always love getting this box every every other month. Um, as like I said, typically I usually get something pretty good. Um, I've had a few yeah, I get questionable boxes, I ain't gonna lie. But uh, I mean, this is Deadpool, nerdy, 30 years. Plus they got all kinds of Deadpool uh, pops out there. So who knows what they're gonna do. But first, I wanna get to this thing. This is just got sent, I don't, always open up boxes that I, I get in right away because a lot of times these boxes get put in the closet and I get back to them and stuff like that. The collector core one is one that I try to do the video real shortly after I get it. And then of course, because since my buddy Wayne sent this over now, this is a pop that him and I have been talking about for a while of, you know, wanting to get some of these, but Funko has been so weird with these pops that, you know, I just, I don't know what's going on, but he ended up scoring a couple and he, uh, of course we all like to help each other in this, uh, Funko community. So if somebody finds them and other people can't, you know, we usually try to help each other out and, uh, and get some, man, he put a lot of tape on the front part of this or my knife's going very dull. I haven't decided which one the case is yet, but we're going to get this open because I want this pop. I don't care if I got to open up from the side. See? Just gotta manhandle it sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this now. I do know exactly what this is. Um, this is the first one that I've gotten out of this series. Um, and I'd like a lot more. There's some 10 inch ones I would love to get. Of course, again, right here from my buddy of the Wayne Co. Studios. Uh, it says, thank you for all you do, Wayne. Um, buddy, I, I always appreciate it. And as soon as I can find something, you know, over here that you don't have, I'll definitely return the favor. So thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So check this bad boy out. I'll bring him over to the camera to you guys shortly. But check this guy out. So we have the Heat Ray Godzilla. Oh, man, this thing's awesome. Uh, now, this is supposed to be the one that's supposed to have the blue coming out of his mouth. Now, of course, they didn't do it inside the box. What they're not showing you is the heat ray is actually right over here along the side. So if you set him up, um, it's going to kind of be one of those things where you, you have to attach the heat ray to his mouth. So I want to see what it fully looks like. So we're going to open this bad boy up. 
and see what it looks like. Because, I mean, come on. Who doesn't like seeing, you know, Godzilla, you know, use his heat ray? Because uh, that's just awesome. <laughs> of course, this is from the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. And good lord, this guy has some weight to him. Oh, man. He's got some serious weight to him. But let's hook up this heat ray. So, I assume, okay, so he's got like a little spot inside of his mouth that you kind of hook this into. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that. Um, yeah, that's, that's just <laughs> the detail on him, the scales. So, as you guys can see, he looks fantastic with his heat ray on there. Of course, it, when it sits flat on the, on the floor, you know, it's, it's like it's hitting the ground fantastic detail on him all the way around because he's using his heat ray his back scales always get uh, big and blue uh, and then of course he shoots it on out but i think that's awesome that only downside is you have like this side wasn't too bad they kind of looks like they kind of you know melt uh, put the leg in this side pretty well but this side not so much i'm kind of not impressed with that you kind of got a little bit of of openness like they didn't really you know, make the connection real well uh, on the mold because I'm assuming they did the legs different than the rest of it. So that one does not sit very well. That's the only downside, I think, to this pop. But other than that, the, the scales scales look cool. Um, the heat ray looks awesome. And, I mean, if you set them on your shelf, whether it's in the box or not, you're really not going to notice that much because that is on the back leg. So and you're not going to pay attention to that as much, but that is a fantastic-looking pop. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. It depends on how many Godzillas I get. I got to get some King Kongs too because I would love to be able to kind of set these up in a way that, you know, they kind of, you know, especially if I take them out to where, you know, they, they look like they're fighting. I think that would be awesome. But we're going to go ahead and leave him right over here for right now. We're going to get to this box. And before I get to this box real quick, if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you to the channel. If you return to the channel, I would definitely want to welcome you for coming back. And enjoying another video uh, if you haven't done so already please go ahead and hit that like button down below um, also leave me a comment on anything that you liked inside this video and go ahead and hit that little red button down there that says subscribe uh, as well as hit that that little bell next to it as the post notification bell uh, so that way you get notified of all the most recent videos that I do put out as well as any live streams I do start I do you typically I do about two videos a week um, two live streams a week and sometimes I've been tossing in the third live stream in there. You never know. The best way to know is to hit those post notification bells. Also, if you guys have noticed on my screen, if you look down there, there's a little join button. Go ahead and click that. that. That is my membership. I call it Donut Life. I think it's a good play on words because when you get that um, in any live stream chat, you'll get a donut right next to your name. Now, the longer you're a member, the different toppings that will change on that donut to show everybody else in the chat how long you have been a long uh, and loyal member for. Um, and again, these are just uh, ways, different ways to support the channel um, and as well as any money that I do collect from YouTube, Patreon, any other way like that, it all goes back into the channel 100%. So if you're able to support the channel, I definitely appreciate it. All right, with all that out of the way, let's get to this box because I love it. Now, the last, the last Collector Core box was the Lucha Libre one, and we didn't get a shirt in that one because we had gotten three pops instead, which I think is, is a good trade-off, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm pretty sure by the size of this, we don't, we're only getting the two pops. So we're going to start with the shirt. Because, um, again, I haven't got a shirt in a couple months, so why not? So let's see what we have here. How good does that look? Oh, cool. It's his birthday um, cake pop. Because I think they have a pop like this at, at 7-Eleven exclusives. Uh, but this one's cool. Deadpool's uh, Nerdy 30 birthday. So, of course, Deadpool's been around for 30 years since his first appearance. And I believe New Mutants. I don't remember the comic number, but I know some of you guys are going to do it. So, if you remember it, leave it in the comment down below. That's cool. I mean, it's a great shirt. Um... I mean, gray shirts always work with a lot of stuff, but I really like this. This is probably a shirt that I will I will definitely wear. That's a that's a great start to this box. Let's see what else we got. Of course, we've got our sticker. Uh, it says "Happy Birthday." He's got "Happy Birthday" glasses on with streamer guns instead of blowing them. I don't know. That one's interesting. So we always get a sticker in there as well. 
Um, I'll leave that card for last because that one typically says what the next box is going to be. Although recently, I don't know what to believe when it comes to those cards because we have had cards that say it's going to be this thing. I know we're supposed to get Eternals and then we got something else. And then last month we didn't even get told what it was. And then, and then we had the confusion. So I don't know. So let me show you what we got here. So of course we got the happy birthday. Hopefully I'm not getting too much glare uh, sticker as well as the really cool um, Deadpool pin 30 years. That's awesome. We got the two swords coming out. That's pretty cool. I love that. So of course we know there's five items in this box and we've gone through the first three. We got the shirt, we got the pin, we got the sticker. There's only two things left. It is the, <laughs> it's the two pops. So let's see what the first one we get. Man, they pack these in here. These things are in here tight. I'm trying not to look. But I like to let you guys see what we get first. So who do we have first? We got dead. We got Ninja Deadpool. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That that's really really cool. Of course, Marvel Collector Core exclusive Ninja. Now this is black. So I mean, I'm sure it's real hard to see with this glare in here. So we're gonna go go ahead and open him up. So of course we got Ninja Deadpool. He's in a black outfit. He's got his swords and, and you know behind him. But what's great about this is he's got you know of course you know you, you can't nothing can touch the guy. So he's got ninja stars in his chest. He's got two in his head. He's got an arrow coming out of his head. That's just really funny. I like how he's on a platform jumping. I always like those scenes. I think those things look fantastic uh, when that happens. And, and I think this is just an awesome looking pop. So, you know, I hope you guys like it just as much as I do. So I'm going to put him right over here, right next to Godzilla. Hopefully these camera angles are allowing you to, to see these guys down here. That was an awesome pop. I love the detail. It's probably one of my favorite Deadpools other than the nerdy Deadpool, but let's see what else we got. So who do we have here? We have Dino Pool. Wait, I know I've ordered the Dino Pool, and I think it's in a box in the closet from Entertainment Earth. So I know I have the, the Dino Pool here. Um, I'm pretty sure, because this one's more black than red, and I'm pretty sure the other one that came out was all red with the, the black. So it seems to be just completely opposite from the regular one that came out. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take him out because I remember when they released all the Deadpool the Dino one was the coolest one I thought they had. I thought it was really cool. But I also think that they missed a mark a little bit with Dino Pool because I think Dino Pool would have looked a lot better as a 10 inch pop than the, the small one. Uh, Cause I mean, it's a dinosaur. Come on, man, it's like T-Rex style. Why isn't this in a 10 inch? I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and open them up and check this out. Um, should have probably went and found my other Dino Pool and opened that up at the same time. But hey, that'll be for a later video as soon as I can find it. It's in there somewhere. So, man, he's really, really cool. I like him. I mean, he's got the scales. Of course, the dinosaur. Uh, he's got his uh, Deadpool utility belt, as he usually does, and his Deadpool swords. Now, these swords course have seen better days they've got notches taken out of them uh you know maybe dino pool has been chewing on them as a rawhide i don't know uh, but definitely looks cool um i mean to be honest it's, it's supposed to be like kind of a t-rex you know because it, it, the backside kind of you know he doesn't have nothing going on back there so um again i think that this pop i mean it's a black with the red whereas the regular one was the red with the black and uh, I definitely think at least the red with the black should have been a 10 inch. I think it would have looked better, had much better detail uh, than this one, than these do. But I mean, come on, it's a dinosaur, you know, basically in a Deadpool outfit. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that's awesome. So let's go ahead and put him right next to the other guy. So that's it for that box. Now, there is one card that I always leave uh, to last. Uh, whether this is true or not, I have no idea, but this is a little card that tells us, you know, of course, what we got in the pop, we got the pin, we got the decal or sticker, uh, we got the t-shirt and of course the two pops. Um, but on the back, it'll tell us coming soon. It says, which is again, very, very confusing because I think this was again, supposed to be our March box and our next box should be our May box, uh, except for on this one, it says, our March theme is Year of the Shield. So, I don't know. I, I think there's a whole bunch of confusion going around with trying to get these things ready. 
So I have no idea. Maybe it's going to be Year of the Shield next one, but I think that's going to be the May box because it's every other month that we get these boxes. But other than that, I think those are great pops. Uh, we got cool Dino Pool here. We've got Ninja Pool. And of course, I got that awesome looking Godzilla um, Heat Ray from Wayne Co. Studio. So again, thanks for that, buddy. I do appreciate it. Um, but other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Again, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave me a comment as well as hit that subscribe button. Consider checking out Donut Life. It's fun, especially once we get into the live stream. And as always, guys, do what you like, do what you love, and never forget to unleash your inner nerd. Have a good one. Enjoy your day.